folks how's it going tonight we have weird screens showing up yeah can you see us looks like there might be a little bit of a, a camera bug happening here 
Are we talking? Are we, uh, you have the music still going? No. Oh. No. No music going. Yeah, I think it's froze up. Amanda's got, uh, Amanda's taking a seat somewhere there, <laughs> it looks like. Uh-oh. I'll have to see if we're froze. We might not be. It's hard to say. We are frozen. Okay, thanks, Dave. Let me, uh... Uno momento. Por favor. We're on a new computer set up here, so... Trying to make it work. What's going on? And as you know, when you try new things, it stops working as soon as you need it to work. How's everyone doing? Hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful Friday. It's nice and sunny today, which was great. Oh, why is this happening now? Well, because. Yeah, exactly, Joey. It's this OBS thing. Something with the latest update, I think, is, uh, is just not working quite properly. We might be really big for a second here. Better than not seeing us at all. Yeah. We went off grid again, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just really dark in here. There, there. Are, we are we back, back now? now? Can, Can you, you see, see us now? now? It, might it might take, take a, second, a second, but, but we, we might, might be, be here. here. It's, it's hard, hard to, to say. say. Yeah. It could be, uh, yeah, yeah, it could, could be the maple, maple syrup, because the, uh, the, uh, the camera, camera might be all sticky, sticky from, from, from boiling sap. sap. Yeah, You've been boiling yeah. sap all week. It's stuck, stuck on, on, it's stuck on a pitcher of sap. sap. We are boiling this weekend. We boiled, boiled today. today. Mm -hmm. um, there, there we go. go. Okay. Now, now, now we're getting, getting picked, picked up. up. Okay. okay. Ooh, much better. We can actually get started now. We're echoing, We're echoing now. We're echoing. Echo? 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 Yeah, two people say echo. Echo, echo. echo. I bet it's gone now, though. Is it gone? It'll be gone in a second. You got to give them a second. It takes a little while for us to get to them because, you know, we got to... We're so far up north in, yeah. in Canada here. Exactly. So, yeah, we're trying a new setup tonight. And I'm using the dreaded uh, Windows tower that I have here. It's old, but I figured I'd give it a try. You never know. My Could be fun. They still say echo. Yeah, it'll take a second to uh, get rid of the echo. Yep, all gone. Okay. Yep. Awesome. It's gone. Perfect. And it only took... What five minutes to figure five that minutes? out? That's not too bad. I've seen <laughs> I've seen bloopers on the news go longer than five minutes. Yeah. Okay, we're here. Yeah. Uh, who else is here? We have a bunch of people here. My mom is here. Dave, hey, mom. Dave from Open Up Farm is here. CB Greenhouse and Garden. The Bearded Giant. My Slice of Heaven Outdoors. Uh, Thrifty VG. Almost Homestead. Um, who did you say we saw earlier? We saw Mike Daigle's here. Elf Lord's Journal Journey is here. My Slice of Heaven Outdoors. Rick is here from... Where is it? Nathan's here. Two Wild Onions are here. Homestay with the Heberts are here. Gardening in Gnome Town is here. And whoever's... Oh, Heaven's Gate Cherry Farm is here. We have a lot of people here. Thank yeah. you all for showing up. Mm -hmm. So glad you can make it. And if you're 
coming in late. Nothing went wrong at the beginning of this live stream. No. It's nope, nothing went wrong. No. Andrew, it's the uh, it's the extra moisturization that I'm getting from the boiling the sap that is making the beard mm -hmm. look so nice. Nice and shiny. You should try that sometime. Mm -hmm. I mean, yours looks great too, but it is it's a nice natural moisturizer. Hello, Ohio. Oh, there's Rick. Yeah, Rick is here. Yep. Another Rick. Yeah, two Ricks, three Ricks in the house. My dad's probably watching. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what happened this week? This what did happen? Shenanigans. So we had some crazy hail. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty wacky. I don't think I've ever. Well, I have seen, but it's been a while since I've seen hail like that, and lightning and thunder, and rain and snow and then hail and then in the middle rain. of a live stream. Yeah, we we're trying to do a live stream. So we did a little live stream with an off grid project that is we're looking talk about that later though. Looking to develop up here. And during the live stream, something around here was hit by lightning, and it shut us down. Our power was still here. Oh uh, yeah, the power was on, but and our like we've set our internet onto our solar power so that in case it did go off, we'd be fine. But something at the tower, or I don't know. So we lost internet, so we had to stream on Dave's phone. Yeah, which is not ideal when you have limited, you know. Data. Data. Mm -hmm. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. But do you want to show a picture of the hail? Yeah. We've got some hail here. Yeah. So they were like pea-sized hail. And it came down for a good 10 minutes, I'd say. Yeah. It covered the truck like you couldn't see the top of the truck anymore. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. Is that picture in there? The truck? No, I don't no. think the truck okay. is in there. Cool. And what else happened? A lot of sapping. Yes. A lot of maple syrup. A lot of collecting it. A lot of boiling it. A lot of drinking it. Yeah. And actually today, the sap was running like this. That's how you want to see your, your taps dripping. That, that is going to be a good run. And that was one of the new trees you tapped, too. Yep, that one I just tapped today, actually. Yeah. So that was pretty exciting to see that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, so this week, we had four videos. Very different than last week when we had zero videos. Yeah, and I actually didn't really prepare any uh, thumbnails or anything for those. That's okay. They can look at us. Can you move over a little bit? Then... Is it that way we got to go? Yeah, it's that way we got to go. Okay. That's better. Okay, so the first video was the Sat Boil live stream. So we did that all day Saturday. Brought yep. you along collecting the sap, um, listening to us um, wax poetically about sap collection and then boil the sap everybody learned about the evaporator several times mm -hmm. and how it was built and uh, that was fun and there will be a better video coming out about the operation of it and how it runs and all that fancy a more stuff. condensed video yeah not three hours long like mm -hmm. the live stream was it was very cool to have everyone yeah. along for that long though yeah that's for um, sure and then mate dave made a short video just Kind of summarizing some of the maple sugaring that we were doing. Mm -hmm. Some of the collections, more tap stripping. Dave likes tap stripping. Yeah, I do. I love the tap stripping. Mm -hmm. It's like it's the it's the drums of spring in the forest mm -hmm. to me. When I go walking out there, especially in the morning when they first just start going, you'll be walking around and you hear boom, boom, boom. All through the forest, and you just take a little walk. Caddis comes out for a little walk, and it's fun. Mm -hmm. it's very Sometimes nice. Dunster joins you. Dunster always joins us, but he's sneaky. He's a sneaky little bugger, so mm -hmm. you never know where he is. Yeah. Sometimes he's climbing up one of the trees. Sometimes he's right at your heels. Sometimes he tries to lead the way. That's our cat. One of our cats. Our cat that you like. Yes. And then we had that live stream we were talking about with the hailstorm, the Boreal Forest Medieval Village 
question and answer. Uh, Dave's second cousin? Yes. Um, Anthony, we discovered after we moved up here that he is spearheading a, a purchase of a tract of land that then people could have licenses to own half acre parcels of. So they're not subdividing it, but you each own your own little land. So it was an interesting live stream because we learned a lot. We don't necessarily know too much about this project except for what we've gathered from from Anthony. From Anthony and from their Facebook group and mm -hmm. And it's like twenty minutes down the road from us. Yeah, it'll be quite close. So it's a pretty cool little project. There's a uh, um, likely to be some, I don't want to say backlash, but some questions from the local community in the area about this particular piece of land, because even though it's private for a number of years, it has kind of been used as just public land, even though there are, it's gated, there are no trespassing signs up, things like that, but folks do continue to use it. Uh, the owner doesn't seem to have much of a problem with that. Uh, I think the general idea with the group, the Boreal Medieval group, is to keep the canoe portages and things like that open and some of the hiking trails, but maybe just reduce the amount of uh, machine traffic. So the, the snow machines and the ATVs and things like that coming through the property. Parts of it, possibly. It's yeah. All, they haven't actually purchased it yet. They're working on that right now. Um... And then we had the Take a Seat collaboration video. Yeah, with uh, the content creators group. Yeah, and for that one, we have a comment of the week on that video. We do. Um, and also, maybe if we could get one of the uh, mods here to link that playlist in case people want to check that out. Amanda built a pretty cool little uh, seat. Hey, stool. Paul. Oh, thanks for joining us. Yep, and I saw Doug and Wendy up north. Yep, they popped in. CB, of course, is here. Mm -hmm. Hi, CB. Are both you and Renee watching tonight? And what about Tabitha, the garden tiger? Mm. Comment of the week? Yes. Comment of the week. So, yes, this build was a collaboration that was led by Andrew, and it was Take a Seat, and it was Build... Something smaller or bigger than a bread box that you could take a seat on. So my contribution was a star-inspired seat. And our comment of the week is from My Alaska Dream. And the part I really liked about it was, I'm a little confused. Did Canada convert to the imperial system? Just kidding. Um, I thought that was funny because... Because the United States is our neighbor and they're much bigger than us, we still get a lot of materials that are sized imperial. Mm -hmm. So most of our wood, almost all of our wood, all all of our wood, yeah, is all in imperial imperial yeah. imperial measurements. Imperial measurements and uh, a lot of our drill bits, a lot of stuff. You could you still get it imperial. You can also get metric, but. Like the the wooden dowel pins I got were imperial, so then I had to find an imperial drill the same size, yeah. drill bit the same size. So mm -hmm. it really limits you on how much metric stuff you can use. I could have converted it, but a lot of reviews are American anyways. So yeah, and we <laughs> I know we often go back and forth between imperial and. Uh, and metric and I mean it's weird because in Canada we kind of both we get both systems so we we have an understanding of what both measurements mm -hmm. are like a gallon is four liters roughly four liters that kind of thing a foot is 30 centimeters roughly roughly except for that Fahrenheit Celsius thing Dave the Fahrenheit Celsius thing still that we need Kevin here to help yeah. us with that I don't actually know too many Canadians that actually can just off the top of their head pinpoint the difference between the two. Oh, John's here. Ooh, Doug and Wendy. They closed the property on Monday. We're officially our neighbors. Ooh, Woo! awesome, guys. Congrats. That is sweet. Looking forward to that. Make sure you let us know when your next trip up here is. Yeah, you'll be just down the road mm -hmm. and then the road. Yep, down the road and then down the road. 
Awesome. Yeah, That's and depending great. on your next trip up here, I mean, the uh, the rainbows and the whitefish are just starting to stack up in front of Stokely Creek there. So. And soon the smelt. Yeah, the smelt run will be happening soon. Oh, no. What happened? I don't know. Oh, my phone. computer just froze. Control-Alt-Delete. Let's see what that does. Because this is Windows again. I have not used Windows in so long. So forgive me if things go weird tonight. a palette of 50 by 100s. So the wood that I used for that build, <laughs> I didn't really explain in the video, but... So, because I didn't know how to do it, like, succinctly, but you know how you get all the the hardware stores get all the wood in in like big pallets of wood they put little pieces of wood between like bundles of wood and and then they throw those little pieces of wood away and that's that's the wood i used for the build um yeah it's almost the... it's the same size as like uh like lath from lath and plaster kind of deal and I also discovered there might be a bonus video about this if I have time. It's the same size of wood that they use to make the wood pallets. You know, not pallets, uh, the fancy little like crates, crates, the wood little, crates. The fan, yeah, the yeah, wood, the wood crate crates. Things. So you can get this wood for free. I would just show up for that build. I had to show up at Home Depot I think four times, and I would just walk around and just like try to loosen as much of those wood. <laughs> the wood from the piles and sometimes wood like would be falling on me and people would walk walk by and be like do you need help <laughs> one day i went and there was a hundred people there waiting interviewing for a job and i'm just like pushing people aside that are waiting for an interview in the middle of the in the middle of the wood section and they're like being interviewed right on tables there so i was just like can i get by you and i was just like grabbing wood and grabbing it from the floor and out of the garbage bins how do you pronounce that andrew can you please uh, pronounce that for us? <laughs> Dunnage. And if you can, can you pronounce it in Canadian for us, please? It's called Dunnage. Dunnage. Or Dunage? Dunage. Dunage? Dunage. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was glad to find that because that took a lot of pieces. That was quite a few centimeters of uh, board. To make that do we seem a little bit red tonight this looks because red i think we've had quite a bit of sun from sitting out boiling our sap but it's, all week I, I got a lot of sun on saturday yeah i had a little bit done age done age done age done age okay where are we at here what's going on uh we're at we were at, on a week so oh yeah and then i was just going on a tangent about the build it's great when you can find free wood what made me think about that is the pallets like pallets is free wood uh done dunage dun edge is free wood um also if they have off cuts often they as they said they have like a scrap bin that you could take wood out of for that too like the people at the cash register never looked at me funny when i had like an arm full of wood i'm like this is just free they're like okay <laughs> and the uh southern ontario folks watching john and, and mom and dad and whoever else doug and wendy i guess are down south probably right now so you guys have some snow coming mm. this weekend apparently a big snowstorm 15 centimeters of snow or something like that coming you don't have any snow left like we're honestly not that red dave i think it's something about the lighting or the camera it's okay. I was just making a joke about the uh, red. <laughs> but it looks like we're so red. Yeah. Dave is always a bit burnt. It's probably Windows. That's what it is. If we were on the Mac, it wouldn't be doing this. It's your I It's old iPhone that's taking the video. Yeah, you're right. So it is a Mac thing. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Off track again there. Yeah, yeah. The snow... Um, we're supposed to get a little bit of snow tomorrow. We're only expecting about three feet, so it's not really something that we're too concerned about. <laughs> three <feet. laughs> no, three centimeters. It's getting so difficult to walk through the forest now. Oh, yeah. Because we've lost our pack. It's basically all, I don't know, like sand. I don't even know how to, like, 
little tiny pieces for the snow, like little particles of like It's like walking ice. on granulated sugar where some of it got wet and got hard. Yes. But then other spots, you just sink right down in them. Yeah, so, and there's water flowing, I think, underneath it. So oh, you'll, there definitely So is. you'll sink down, and then you'll, like, get into a, ma- like, a magic, a very large uh, bit of, like, muck. And so then you'll be stuck in the muck, standing on snow up to your waist. It's, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I went through the other day with a full bucket of sap, my right leg went all the way in up to my hip and my foot was in flowing water underneath the snow and my other leg was still I was it would have looked pretty funny if I had video of what happened because <laughs> my other leg was still up on top of the snow <clears throat> I didn't lose any sap though That's every key. drop of that stuff is sacred that is key we can't plant yet CB I bet CB's CB's already got some stuff in there. No, he's ready to get planted. Yeah, I know, but ah oh, man, what uh, what did Renee zone have are you in, in there? Turnips, maybe, or something. What in zone what? are you in, CB? Way down south, way down there. They just took some trees down, make some more more room for light to get into the greenhouse and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we're not getting our snow then. Hmm. Sometimes CB gets a little bit of the Canadian weather heading uh, down there. Yeah, I see. I know. Mm. Uh, we forgot what we were going to start the live show with. What was that? Oh, yeah. Well, where the heck are they? Guess who was on hold the road on, today? Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. Garlic? Did someone start garlic? That was a good thing to start. I'm looking forward to having some. Peas, carrots, and taters, they started. Okay. Okay. That's better. I think we look less red. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's why they do this. It could be. Like men in black. Prep Stutter Bob and Mrs. B hit the road this morning for the Self-Reliant Road Show, if you can believe it. Mm -hmm. The time has finally come. We haven't heard where they made it to yet. They might have only made it to McDonald's. Yeah, they sent a picture from... Was that a McDonald's? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where they were. But, uh, it, I mean, if you don't know Prep Stutter Bob and Mrs. B, the sunglasses are... Uh, that's a thing with them. This is actually a, a porter. What porter is it? It's, I, put the, I put the can away. It's some sort of a porter. It's really good. How much syrup do we have? My mom wants to know. Um, We have one gallon finished that still has to be bottled. I think with... I actually have some going right now, finishing up outside, that I'm going to have to go and have a quick peek at in a couple minutes. And mm-hmm. the lovely Amanda will continue to entertain everyone. But <sighs> I suspect that we will probably get close to two gallons out of this run that I did today. Today was just nonstop. Into the bush, collecting sap back out of the bush, pouring it in the evaporator. So that would put us at three gallons. Hello, Hogarth. Hogarth. Yeah. Hogarth Hogarth Rathbun. Cool name. Cool. Thanks for popping in, Hogarth. Glad to see you here. We've uh, We've had a number of new subscribers coming in over the last week or so. So glad to see new folks popping in, getting to know us a little bit. Yeah. I do not know the reason for the porter name, Oak Knob Dave. Let us know. Inform us. Um, yeah, so self Reliant Roadshow, we got that out. Uh, we're running out of our list here, and we're only halfway through. Yeah, well, that's okay. That That's kind of where we would usually end up, about halfway through, and then people start bugging us with questions. Yeah. And... One thing it's interesting to mention is we are in a different spot. We are in a different spot, yes. We're trying just some new... Uh... Davis set up a desk here on the wall. And uh, so we're further away from the wood stove, which is nice, mm-hmm. because it was getting quite hot yes. on our backs. Much too hot. Much too hot. Especially for this time of year. But speaking of stoves, we finally plugged in our stove. Yes, and we've been eating pizza all week. I know, Dave keeps <laughs> on coming home with pizza and being like, 
we gotta eat more pizza. Yeah. And like fries and battered meat. There's all kinds of things that we missed out on. Yeah, we haven't had anything baked for a very long time. Yeah. That came out wrong. We haven't had any baked goods for a very long time. Oh, you don't bug us with questions, Dave. That came out wrong. <laughs> the I meant in a in a very very good way, Donnie. In a very good way. <clears throat> but I'm gonna run out quickly and check on the sap that is currently boiling. Okay. Because. Because we don't want to get too hot. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's fine, but I just want to check it out. And we are learning about Porter. Back in the day when water was tainted, porter was a hearty, low-alcohol beer good for the porters that carried cargo at the shipyards. Very interesting. Um, didn't know that, but it, it is very good. Uh, I was looking at my cup to see what alcohol level, but I wouldn't say in my cup. Um, oh, I make pizza crust all the time. Dave's just been lazy this week. He went grocery shopping, so he bought two pizzas. And then before that, I bought, I made pizza. We made pizza from scratch. So we've had pizza three times this week. Twice frozen, once made from scratch. So. Yeah. What could I have to share? You can see a little bit more of our house now, too. So we have lots of white doors. Yeah. I need to work on that. I think I want to put pine back there. Um, or something. A lot of there's a lot of pine in our house. I like pine. And ooh, we also got a new microphone. So there might be less of that weird sound. Uh you wouldn't have noticed because the beginning of our live stream was so bad, but we got a fancy new microphone that hopefully is improving our sound. Hey, Kevin, we were talking about you. Like the whole stream. Hmm? We were talking about Kevin the whole stream, but he just showed up. Oh, yeah, we should probably stop talking about him. Yeah. Syrup's looking good. Is there a new channel coming? Oh, Dave wants me to break off from the main channel. And uh, have my own building channel for these build collabs. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good idea. I but think we, we don't know the name for that one yet. Yeah, we haven't figured out the name yet. Or the logo. Amanda Build Stuff. Make it with Amanda. Make it with Amanda. I already did that. What'd you make? I don't know. A happy life. Mm-hmm. A happy life. A happy wife, a happy life. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's correct. Um. Yeah, so really it would only be the... Amanda's Amanda's the maker in the house here. She's the one who uh, is the creative, the creative mind. And while I really enjoy doing these collaborations, the like, videos don't necessarily fit with where we want this channel to go. Mm -hmm. So it, it might make more sense. Some things separate. fit. Like the chicken coop that you built out of skins, out yes, of pallets. Yes, I that... made a chicken coop out of pallets. That was a fun design. Mm -hmm. and that, if there's a collab about making chicken coops, then they would fit with this channel. But seats, I don't know. Is that really fitting with this channel? I'm Unless sure. you were making seats to go out around a campfire or something like that. That seat could go around a campfire. Yeah. I just need to treat it. You should have stolen Dave's idea. Mm. That oak knob there. Taking it to a campfire. Mm -hmm. Our campfire is uh, like under snow right now. Yeah, still under two or three feet. Still can't see it down there. Dave was burning stuff on top of where the fire pit was to try to get to the fire pit. <laughs> hey, I melted the axe out. Yeah, we found both of our axes, two axes. Um, because of the, one because of the melting of from that fire, the second one just melting snow because it was further away. Oh yeah. No, Dave's not the brawn. I'm the brains and the brawn for those builds. Yeah, I'm not the bra I'm the editor. That's really yeah. about all. He edits and yells at me and says, 
Why is this so much video? Three hours long. <laughs> I just film. I just like film the whole thing. Yeah. And then think about editing later. So I, I end need to up change with, that if I'm going to start having to edit it. <laughs> I end up with 90 gigabytes of video data to work with and <laughs> a day to put it together. Mm-hmm. I did most of the editing for the last one. Though. You did, yes. You added in music and a beginning screen. Did I? Anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. Ideas for Amanda's uh, maker channel. Canada Amanda. Amanda the Northern Maker. There have been a few suggestions in the content creators group. Some really, really good suggestions. But we're open to more. We're not in a rush to get the, the channel up and running. No. At first, I'm going to see if I can focus my builds to be more channel specific to see if it's that would make more sense we're open we're equally thinking about both options trying to limit my builds and focus them on our channel theme and or a new channel where i can do whatever i want and then i can have some of my other crazy build ideas in yeah. there as well because totally. i don't only like work with wood i also like sew and crochet and paint and do all that stuff. I get bored easy. So I see something and I'm like, well, I could do that. There's a good one from Joey there. Amanda, what? make it or break it. Probably both. I'll make it <laughs> <laughs> and break it. Make it or break it. There you go. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason's here. Jason, you should have seen the, the tap stripping today. Absolutely crazy. Ended up out of I ended up hauling at least 10, 10 gallons of sap out of the bush today on top of the whatever it was thirty or forty that I already had sitting up at the house here ready to go. Amanda's creations. So my last name starts with a C, so that that kind of might make sense. Mm -hmm. I was thinking also maybe like A B C. So Amanda's build corner. But I, I just think I'm trying too hard there. Yeah. Yeah. Make with different mediums. Yeah. I'm gonna put that sap back up for a minute, just for uh, Jason. Check this out. This is uh, this was one maple tree. A maple tree, yes. That uh, I just put this tap in today. So I was quite impressed with that. And plenty more to go in after this. We gotta go into town tomorrow and figure something out for buckets because I still have like 50 taps and we're out of buckets to put up. So. Well, we could just get more of those, what is it, five gallon? Two gallon. Two gallon crappy Can tire buckets. Yep, yeah, Canadian tire buckets. There weren't any last time I went in though. So I think other people are thinking that as well. Yeah, probably. They're stealing our ideas. They saw our videos. I know. ABC Artisan. I like Maker. I like the sound of Maker. Yeah, I like Maker being in there too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was going nice today. Mm-hmm. But channel directions? Channel directions. So one thing we really like about this channel... Um, and one thing we get really excited about more than some of our other videos is when we are foraging or fishing or bushcraft, just bushcraft, just different things that are more wild than homestead. Um, we still also enjoy homesteading, like growing chickens and plants and vegetables and having our tiny house and living in the forest. And, and going off grid. And going off grid. And, a, and another thing is we found that it, teaching people the name Dombois has been very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of confusion about what it, it is, and it takes a lot of explanation of what it is, and it doesn't really just stand out as in what our channel means unless you are um, French-Canadian. Because... Like most people do not know what Dombois means. 
and some people get a little angry with us because it's actually not grammatically correct. Mm. It's, it's a play on it's a, it's play, a play on words. words. It's slang. It's it's what people make speak like rather than what they would write like. So we want to take our follow this direction we've been moving with our channel by changing our name. Mm -hmm. Not a lot about the channel will change. It will just be more directed towards the new, the new Dom Bois, <clears throat> the new name that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Because we're already doing all of these videos of bushcraft and foraging and homesteading and off-grid and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to get an idea from you guys, the folks that watch and enjoy the channel, what you might think if we changed the name, changed the logo, and things like that. So I've come up with a new logo, and we have two name options. Uh, we like both of them, and we wanted to get your feedback on which one you prefer. And if you have any suggestions, yeah. So we'll start off with name number one. Wildstead. Mm -hmm. So that's play on homestead, but in the wilderness, a more wild homestead. Or, as it was pointed out to me today, you could also consider it being wild instead. So we're doing things in a more wild nature than the typical way a person, a person lives. Yeah. And, yeah, exactly. I mean, we're... We're not your typical homestead channel. Mm-hmm. So Wildstead is one of the things that we have been running with. Outside of that, we've also been looking at another play on Wildstead, which the, is Wilderstead. Which would be the great Canadian Wilderstead. Wilderness, Wildstead, Wilderstead. So this one's a bit longer. Um... We liked it because of that's basically what we originally thought. We're like, we're in the wilderness. We're a homestead in the wilderness. We're a wilderstead. But it's been pointed out to us that wildstead might be easier and simpler um, to say. Might be. Um, so, yeah. So both of them are on the table. And also think about the logo much smaller. Yeah. The logo will be much smaller. When you're looking on your phone. Yeah. Or on your tablet or something like that. Yeah. So, I mean, both of us like Wilderstead, but it's kind of, you know, we don't know if people might pronounce that Wilderstead. Things like that. So, Hidden Valley Homestead doesn't like the name. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a lot of people like Wildstead better, a couple people like Wilderstead better. Um, people like the logo, so there's both of them beside each other for easier comparison. Yeah, so folks are liking Wildstead, Jason's liking Wilderstead. I, I prefer that one too, Jason. It does, it just, it comes down to that thing where, I mean, like we're not Dan's boys. You know, and if if people are uh, calling it Wilderstead, uh, you know, it, uh... yes, Doug and Wendy, it is, it's easier to go with, with Wildstead. And I mean, both, both names fall in line with, uh, with the direction that we want to go. So it's more... Just getting input from folks. We do like Don Bois, John as well, but it's just, we have such a broad uh, international audience that doesn't quite pick up on what it is. Yes, we have chatted a little about it, Jason. 
Yes, sorry, I was just reading the responses. So it's pretty even, so thanks guys for not helping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wild Barrett. There's too many of those as it is, Dave. Mm hmm. And I'm not a Barrett. No. Not officially. Cascanet. Mm hmm. Barrett. Barrett's have beards. Cascanets. Well, I guess Jason has a beard. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, you'll be here for us. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't suspect that people would ditch us just because we changed the name. But, you know, it is good to get some input from... It's like a, a test market kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And our live viewers that tune in every week with us, I mean, you know, we really like having you guys with us. And you guys actually come and chat with us on the regular. So that's why we kind of wanted to put this out to you guys first. To get some some of your thoughts. Um, Dom Bois. Dom means in, and Bois means wood. Um, so Dom Les Bois would be like in the forest. Um, in the woods. In the woods. Yeah. We did kind of go with that, Doug and Wendy, but uh, it just. Uh, there are a number of other websites and channels and things like that that are called Wilderness Homestead. So we wanted to differentiate ourselves from, from that big cluster of, uh, of content creators. Yeah. Yeah, we could just switch it to Dan's Boys Wildstead. <laughs> but that's the problem. We're, we, we need to get away from Dan's Boys. We're, we're getting away from Dan's Boys. Because mm -hmm, it's not Dan's boys. And yeah. he's not Dan. Yeah. And I'm not a boy. Although this is Dan. That is Dan. And I mean, like where the name originally came from was the folks that we bought the homestead off in Manitoba when we moved out there. It was already named and we liked the name and we thought we would be staying there forever. And we did not stay there forever. So it just, it's not us anymore. Mm-hmm. Wild Stedders? We are Wild Stedders, but this is a Wild Stead. Mm -hmm. Dan has no boys. <laughs> Dan has no boys. No. Now, all, I mean, all of our animals are girls, too. Mm -hmm. So there's like four ladies here and one gentleman. Yeah. Mm hmm. There's no boys. <laughs> and this Dan has no boys either. He needs some boys. Yeah. I think uh, I think folks we're definitely sticking with either Wildstead or Wilderstead. We're kinda of stuck on that. So Yeah, and we also actually don't want homestead. Yeah, we don't either. want homestead in the name anymore because Because we feel that we are not necessarily we're not a survival bushcraft channel we're not a survival wilderness channel and we're not a homestead channel so we're a little bit of both and Don Bois Homestead was kind of getting at that like homesteading in the woods but we feel like this way is a nice play on homestead where we're not reliant on what we have here but we're reliant on the wild we're not self-reliant we're wilderness reliant mm -hmm. yeah that is true yeah everybody thinks he's Dan yeah everybody thinks I'm Dan and it's kind of become a running joke which is that's kind of funny too or prep stutter there's a lot of play on stead yeah there is a lot of play on on stead and yeah so like Jason said farmstead mm -hmm. prep stutter Bob so all kinds of stuff out there, but there, from what we have tried to find, there really isn't a wildstead or a wildersted. There is a wildstead uh, dot com, yeah, but they're not active. There isn't a wildersted from what we found. 
And I, yeah, the one we thought about that would be the Great Canadian Wilderness, which is. I know you did, CB. I just, I just went with it. <laughs> I just went with it. I, you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta just kind of have a sense of humor sometimes. Because mm-hmm. it's not obvious. It's like if we're calling something Dan's voice, then people are gonna call you Dan or me Boise. Yeah, so here's another Wildstead vote coming from Rick. Wilderstead. Nope. Oh. So. Okay. I think we're really coming down to Wildstead. Yeah. We like both names. Yeah, we like both. I mean, we originally wanted Wilds- Wilderstead, and then people kept on saying Wildstead, Wildstead. I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then it just really started growing on me to almost more that I like Wildstead better than Wilderstead. But it was originally Wilderstead. Is wildstead.ca available? It probably is. I think so. Well, I haven't looked to see if it's available. It's not being used. Yeah. Um, I don't know if... Uh, I'm not overly concerned about the actual .com. I mean, we can... We're for, not, it's not really about our website anyways. No. So .ca is, is easy to find. We're not expecting people to start um, typing in... Trying to find us by putting in top dot com. Yeah, I mean we do have a website, but the majority of the traffic comes from uh, Pinterest and from YouTube and things like that. So there's a couple of people want to know if we want to name ourselves after our township. Mm, no, no, that's also a hard name to say. <laughs> yeah, we live. Well, and we also don't really want to tell everyone exactly Here. where we live. I'll type the name of where we okay, live. Okay, we'll tell you where we live. Well, we'll just, a general uh, area. But I wish I could hear you guys say this. Yeah, so Dave just typed in the name of our general area that we live in. So we're not actually in there, but we're still called in there. Yeah, that's our, you know, our, uh, uh, well, our township, I guess. It's massive. It mm-hmm. covers, like, probably... 4,000 square kilometers or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It, uh, yeah, I haven't I think, seen... I don't think I've seen them. It's pretty much everything north of Sault Ste. Marie and south of Wawa. No, just north of us is a different township, isn't it? And then south south of us is uh, Hayden. Oh, yeah, township. Okay. So... Everything's... Algoma is the No, one but our, our... Everything between Sault Ste. Marie and uh, Wawa... We'll have a ghouli. Oh, I just said it. I wanted everyone else to say it. <laughs> yeah. But it's ghouli. It's ghouli. We're known as ghouligans out here. Yeah. It's ghouli. No <clears> one <throat> would have expected that. No. So everyone would be saying goulets, goulash. Yeah. Yeah. Like fine cheese, yes. Give her, give her ghouli river. That's right. That's right. And... Brother Dune, I did get your email. I didn't get a chance to get back to you yet, though. Boiling friggin' sap all day long. Yeah, it, it kind of depends, Mike. It kind of depends. If you, if you look on the map, it stretches all the way up to Montreal River, and that's kind of where things start to flip over. But Gooley itself, as a, uh, as a geographic location... Like a town? Yeah, it's quite small. quite small. Yeah. It's not said that way for real. <laughs> That's the way people say it. It makes it for real. Yeah. Gooligan Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we're not really in Gooley either. So that's on our mailing address, but it's not really where we are. We wouldn't. Oh, Kathy's here. Hi, Kathy. Nice, Brother Dune. We actually have. I have some finishing up outside right now that I should probably are you, check again. Which screen are you on right now? Are you on us or? Yeah. Okay. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. You can I... see the sunburn. I think it's just the Brother lighting Dune. in here. Not judging by the look of your face, you look at about the same as on the. Uh, okay. Oh, this keeps on going. Forest the dead. Uh, that kind of makes me think about foreskin.
Yeah, if only it was that simple, though, Brother Dune. It goes all the way up, though. I don't consider myself from Ghoulie, but the government does. So. Yeah, because we're north of Haviland, and we're still Ghoulie. Yeah. College hoops. Never got into basketball. I think because I'm too short, so I was never really good at it. And I had strep throat when they were teaching it in school in grade 8. So hey, I Tyler. I didn't really learn it. Stuff and such just popped in. Hey, stuff and such. Haven't seen any videos from you lately. You're probably drowning in maple syrup, too. How was this, the sap? I'm going to go check in a minute. It's doing all right. It's definitely uh, between syrup and Europe. Forehead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A bunch of people are worried about the forest dead suggestion there, Oaknob. Where does that even come from? From Oaknob. No, no, but why? Forest I'm not dead. sure. I'm not sure. Are we playing golf? Four. Okay, bye, Sugar Creek. See you, Sugar Creek. Have a good night. I know it is pretty cool, eh? Busy little homestead. Mm -hmm. Lots of people. Lots of people doing syrup right now. Okay, I'm going to run out and have a quick peek. It's just me again, guys. Yep. That's the way people prefer it, though. Yeah. You prefer just me? Yeah. Amanda's Wild Creations. It does sound a little bit like a kid's show. Amanda's Wild Creations. Wildstead. Wildstead. Wilderstead. Ah, forest and homestead. Is that what, is that what you were thinking, Dave? Sorry for making fun of your suggestion. Anybody else has suggestions? I, I promise not to compare it to male anatomy. Okay. Goodbye, CB. Nice to have you in. Yes, everybody go out and check the temperature of your sap. You don't want it to get too hot or else you'll get crystallization and the syrup just won't be as good. No, you got to keep the temperature. To be honest, I don't know exactly what temperature it is. Two hundred. It's a hundred and something. Yeah, Dave does that stuff. I just walk around with a bucket, collect the sap, pour it in bigger buckets. Okay, forested. Okay. So that's the issue. You think, you think you write something down and you think it sounds in a certain way, but then the first person that reads it says it completely different. Like the very first person that saw our name as... Dombois Wilderstead said Wilderstead. So that's one thing that scared us a little bit, that people are going to be calling it Wilderstead. Yeah. But he thought it, Forested sounded like Forested. Forested, yeah. Kind of reminds me of Forrest Gump for some reason, though. Hmm. I might have to do a lot of running if we, uh, if we were to go with that name. Mm -hmm. You're saying whatever name we don't choose, I get, I get it from my... My creations. Amanda Wilderstead creations. <laughs> Amanda Wildstead creations. Make the name vote multiple choice and there's only two choices. <laughs> <laughs> we could make it just one choice. Yes. But still have it multiple choice. I think choice. Paul has the better idea. What's up? It's in caps. Maybe, you know, Paul, that might be the way to go. And we can dress our cats and dog in more blue. Yeah. Give you some boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How about just Dan in the woods? <laughs> See, there we go. <laughs> See, now the bearded giant's onto something. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. They, they'd start calling me Lieutenant Dan. At Forested. Yeah, at Forested, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bridal shower tomorrow. <clears throat> that sounds like a lot of cooking. Everything from scratch. Nathan's got a good one there. Super Amanda with sidekick Dave. 
I'm going to pop these uh, options up here again. Oh. Cast your votes. Wild or wilder? Uh, we should do like a poll. On We're our, going to. On We're going to. This, this is just kind of the beginning of uh, investigating. You got new legs. Lieutenant Dan got Lieutenant, new legs. Oh, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. I don't sound like him. It's been a while since I've watched that video. That movie. Wow. How long has that been? Quite a few years, I'd say. Boy, I, I was I was boiling all day, brother dude. All day long I did uh, close, I think 200 liters. I'm down to maybe 10. Maybe. And it's got nice color to it. Brother, doing your voting for our new cha our new channel name. Oh yeah, so the what's just pe appeared on the the uh, screen there. We've just been yakking about. Uh, we're kind of we're switching up our name. Yeah. Dave doesn't want to be Dan anymore. Yeah. And we had and we had a bunch reasons. of discussion earlier about why. Yeah, lots of reasons, more than just that. We didn't. He didn't really mind being called Dan. No. Yeah, we can do a vote on our, like our community section thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, totally, Andrew. I completely agree. Wilderstead sounds better spoken, but Wildstead looks better visually. Yeah. I completely agree. Kinostead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we should just start a channel for Caddis and Kino to start doing their, uh, their dog steading stuff. But then that might be confused with dog sledding. Mm -hmm. Go back to us. Yeah. So thank you everyone for your opinions. I'm glad that all of you aren't too upset about our name change. Um, yeah. It is a little dangerous to change your name once you're a little established. But... See you, Doug and Wendy. Awesome to hear and good luck. Did we already give the history of Dombois? Uh, yeah, we can do a quick recap. Yep. It was the name of our previous homestead that we owned in Manitoba. Their previous owners named it that. They wrote that in the concrete um, of the garage. And it essentially means in the woods. Mm -hmm. But it's French, and there's a lot of confusion surrounding it for a number of folks. So. Mm -hmm. And we feel like it, in a way, might be limiting our automatic knowledge about what we're doing. Yeah. What a goal of our channel is. And we think Wilderstead or Wildstead is a more um, to the point example of where we're taking this channel. Yeah. Not much will change about the channel. It's just, uh, we're it's not a dedicated homestead channel. So... It's why we want to get away from that word homestead and then also from the phrase Dombois. Mm -hmm. We might use a like a thinner font you're thinking, Paul, that would fit on there better. Possibly. We can travel. We can travel. Eight for Wildstead, five for Wilderstead. Okay, thanks for the count, Nathan. Yeah. Interesting. So pretty close. All right, we have cre creeped beyond 9 o'clock. Are you serious? Yes, somehow. Oh, my goodness. This happens every time. We go into these things and we're thinking, uh, we're what gonna are we going to talk, talk about? about? <laughs> and every time we go over. I suppose, you know, we did, there was some technical difficulties at the beginning of the stream there, so mm -hmm. uh, we do owe a couple minutes extra. And I have a feeling that uh, something went on with the YouTube notification tonight. I don't think it came out. I know on my devices, I didn't get a notification. Maybe it came out later. Maybe most folks just know we're on it this time of night. Oh, Thomas just popped in. Whoa, Thomas is here. You are very late. I hope your excuse is that you've been out boiling sap. That's the only acceptable excuse. Yes, that's why everyone else was late. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes. Oh, we got more votes for Wilderstead now. Oh, see, now Tyler's going to unsubscribe from us. <sighs> 
I hope you don't, Tyler. Please don't. We need more videos from you too, buddy. Yeah, we need to do our challenge from you too, which Dave has to get on. I think that's for you. No, there won't be a subscriber loss, Jay. That's just, uh... oh, turkey hunting? No, that's allowed too, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, some people might uh, be confused. And when they see the first notification come up that says... Uh, Wildstead uploaded yada yada. They're like, who the heck is Wildstead? And so that, you know, that's the only thing that could kind of result in. But we're going to do, obviously, a video. The first video under the new name will be explaining uh, the change we've made. And that's why we changed Domba Homestead to Domba Wilderstead in the first place. Because we were originally going Wilderstead and then Wildstead came up. So now we're not sure which one, but we were thinking Dom Bois Wilderstead would kind of lock people into the, the change. Uh, Thomas, we're just, we're here. I'll pop this up for you really quick for the folks that are just tuning in now. Um, we are rebranding our channel. So. One of those two. Not much at all will change, Thomas, just aside from the name and the the graphics. Mm hmm Okay. Thank you, Brother Dune. Enjoy your sap oil. We'll be wrapping up here, too. Yeah, we'll be wrapping up pretty soon. I don't want to keep you guys later than you were planning. So, Thomas, that's... Uh, and and uh, Liana... That's what we've been uh, just going over tonight. Mm -hmm. You missed some really exciting stuff at the beginning, though. <laughs> I, I apologize about that. Yeah. But it was me taking a seat. Mm hmm. That's funny that it shows that random freeze frame. We will, uh, Paul will play around a little bit with the fonts and, uh, and see. So, see, now we're up. Up one on Wilderstead from Thomas now. Mm. <clears throat> See you, Joey. Have a good night. And when you read it, did you read Wilderstead or did you read Wilderstead? Yeah. And does that matter to you? Yeah, we can do that too. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do something like that. We only have one more name change because Dave's been going on name change craziness for the last couple weeks. So we've had two name changes and we only allowed three and then you have to wait 90 days. Yeah. So. McCoy's is here now too. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, you're, you're arriving when we're trying to leave. Ah, that's okay. We'd yeah. like to see you here. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you going to bed, Mom? Hey, Mom. It is after nine. It might be bedtime. Wilder. Yeah. A lot of people are going to say Wilder. Wilderstead. Yeah. Maybe it should be Wilderstead. Maybe it should be. It is. It does get wild around here sometimes. There's a wilder homestead than you might imagine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think actually we had a really warm day today and I think things are going to begin to get very wild around here with bears starting to come out. You read it as Wilderstead. Yeah, that's what it was originally meant. So it's about probably 50-50 with people who read it as Wilderstead or Wilderstead. Yeah. Okay, well, we should wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, let's wrap her Thank up. Thank you guys. And if you think of anything, feel free to, like, if you like, really, really like one or the other, just feel free to email us. Or, or just comment drop, on this. Yeah, drop a comment on this. Drop uh, video. a comment on this one. Uh, <clears throat> we will uh, we will put a uh, poll up in the community area on the channel. I mean, not everyone gets to see. Very few people actually, I find, see the community posts. So. You know what we're feeling like, Dave Oaknog, Oaknog, Dave, whatever. It's very hard. Very hard to decide. I know. It's that's exactly where we're sitting, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for stepping in. 
thank you for helping us out and staying tuned and dealing with all of our beginning issues. We love having you along with us here. And uh, Whether it be Dan's Boys, Dombois, Wildstead, or Wilderstead, we'll be back next be back. week. <laughs>